This is the Manly Reference C microphone, and I'm going to tell you why you need it. Okay guys, so I was in the market for a vocal microphone. I wanted pretty much the best vocal microphone that I can afford, and this was it. Maybe my first choice might have been the Sony C800G, but let's face it, they're not making it, and a used one on Reverb was $25,000. Don't buy into the hype. You don't need to spend 25 grand on a microphone. This was much more reasonably priced, and it'll get you, I think, 90% of the way to that Sony C800 sound, that coveted, sparkly, sits nice in the mix microphone. Now, I am really impressed with this microphone. First of all, I did a song the other day, I did a cover song. You can actually click the link below. It's a, a cover song of time after time. And when I went to mix it, I was just blown away that I really didn't have to use any EQ on the vocals. It was just sitting in the mix. I, I, I ran it through some compression and then I'm, I'm starting to tweak the EQ and I'm like, oh, it's too much. The high end and the, the low mids, like everything just sat really, really nicely in the mix. And this is what this microphone excels at. If you want something that sounds polished, that sounds like a finished vocal sound without having to do too much, this is the microphone. And let's just test it out right now. So it's got a really high output. Right now I'm going from this microphone to a Chandler TG2 preamp. I will do a review on that preamp another day. It is an incredible preamp. But that's all you're hearing. You're not hearing any EQ or any compression right now. And let's just test out this microphone. So, you know, you get a little bit further. Here we go, testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. It's got a proximity effect as you get closer and you can hear me real, real close. And it picks up everything as you can hear, like it absolutely picks up all the articulations of your voice. And that's what I love about this microphone. Now, who is this microphone for? This is for anyone that wants a modern pop or hip hop vocal. You want that nice, beautiful high end without sounding harsh, because you don't want the harshness. A lot of the, the cheap lower end microphones, they have a really shrill and harsh high end, and that just ruins it. That just ruins your voice in a mix. This thing, I mean, just listen to it with no EQ. You hear absolutely everything. It's smooth, the high end is rich, and it's got a nice kind of a saturated sound from the tube. I love this. I love this microphone. I, I am so impressed with it. This is going to be my go-to microphone for vocals forever. Um, who is this microphone not for? So if you're buying a microphone for really old school vintage vocals, a dark sound, a really bassy sound, don't get this microphone. This is really bright and really smooth in the high end. This is for a modern sound. Now, I haven't tested on anything else. Uh, I'm assuming this will sound great on acoustic guitars. Maybe you could use it for a room overhead if, you know, for other applications. But I think 90% of the people that buy this microphone, it's gonna be for vocal related recordings, for singing, for rapping, and for spoken word. I mean, this is what this microphone excels at and this is why you should buy it. So let's just test this out. So um, I'm not a rapper, but uh, F the police, I'm not going there. So let's just try a little bit of singing. This is how we do it. It's a Friday night and I feel all right. And you can just hear, even a whisper just sounds wonderful on this microphone. And that's why you need to buy this microphone, because whispers sound really good. And if you want to make a whispery Billie Eilish song, this is the microphone to whisper. You don't even have to sing. You can just whisper. You whisper a song. You put a, you put a little beat behind that whisper. And then you have a number one song on your hands. Yes, let's do it. Let's whisper. So... This is it, guys. Are there any negative downfalls to this microphone? I personally have not found any, but I have read, some people have complained, if you have an old school, like a Neve old preamp that has a lot of gain, that has like 20 or 30 dB of gain right off the bat, 
and you have a loud singer, this microphone might be a little bit too loud because like the output of this microphone, it comes with its own power supply. The output is really hot. So like I said, if you pair this with a really hot preamp and a loud singer, you're going to have to use the 10 dB switch on the top. I haven't had to use a 10 dB switch, even if I've belted vocals. Uh, like I said, I have this microphone going through a Chandler TG2 preamp right now. I haven't had any issues, but other people might have. So that's the only slight negative thing, if there is a negative. But like I said, this is the Manly Referency Anniversary Edition. It was the same price as the regular Referency, so I picked this one up. And in case you're wondering, Manly does have the silver and the gold. Now, I've listened to those mics as well, and I've listened to a lot of reference clips. The silver one is totally different. I would not have bought that for, for vocals. The gold one is the closest to this one. It's got a really similar high end with a, a slightly more full lower mid-range lower end on the gold. So that might be a more versatile mic if you're if you're looking for a mic for everything. But for vocals, in my opinion, the Manly Referency, the standard Manly with the standard tube is the best vocal mic for value that you can get. And I, th I would highly recommend it. A lot of people, I mean, some people have been replacing the tubes. I've heard the Manly Referency with different tubes. I wasn't impressed. I like the stock tube on the Manly. So uh, yeah, I, I was in a position where I could have got a really good deal on a used Manly Referency, but the guy had replaced the tubes. And I don't like that. Um, it still sounds good, but it's different. And this is the sound that I like. Like I said, you, you run this microphone and uh, you need to do very little to the vocal. I mean, literally, like I said, make sure to click the link below. Like I said, this is a song I did yesterday. It's um, a cover song of an old Cyndi Lauper song. And if you wanna hear that microphone in action, listen to that song. And I can tell you all I had on that vocal uh, EQ, there was, I think, a tiny bit on the lower mid-range. I got very hair. The high end, I was kind of messing with it. It was too much because this, this is a really bright sound already. So I, I didn't touch it at all. So basically, it has hardly anything EQ-wise. And that vocal chain, I ran it through the uh, 1176 and LA-2A emulation and then reverb through um, a Roland R880. And that's what you're hearing on that song. But yeah, that, that kind of demonstrates um, this microphone in action. And like I said, I was really impressed. Usually with, my, with the other mics that I was using, I have to go in and draw in the volume curves to really art, you know, hear the articulations of the voice and hear every syllable. I found that with this microphone, I didn't have to do that. I, it just, it sounded good. And suddenly I'm hearing everything clear and it sits in the mix really, really well. So that is the reason why you should get this microphone. If you need a modern, edgy pop or hip hop vocal, this is the mic to get. And if you're doing spoken word for voice actors, you can't beat this microphone. I mean, just listen to it. It picks up everything. And uh, yeah, it's probably picking up this sound you hear that sound right there? That's just our, our rabbit drinking some water. Like I said, this microphone picks up absolutely everything. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more videos. I'm gonna be doing many more gear reviews and tutorials as well as original and cover songs because I love everything to do with music.